Hey guys, today I have Bliss Polishes Winter Creams to share with you. This is a five piece collection consisting of dusty two coater creams. The first polish is called Salmon, which is an aptly named Salmon Pink Cream. So here is one coat. The formula feels really good. It's definitely a little bit on the thicker side, but I personally prefer that because I think it gives you really good control. It is a little bit sheer on the first coat, so I will do a second, but it does cover really nicely and really evenly. Because of that slightly thicker formula, I'm not having any issues with the polish running down the sides of my nails or pulling my cuticles, so if you do thicker coats, that shouldn't be a problem. So here is one coat. Here is two coats. And as expected, two coats completely evens this out. I do think it's worth noting that this shade seems to dry about a half shade darker than it applies on your nail, which does also kind of bring it more to that winter tone that this collection is geared towards. And you can probably see the difference between the application color and the dried down color between my ring and pinky fingers. So here is two coats of Salmon. The next shade is called Moss, which is kind of a dusty, medium-toned green cream. So here's one coat. This has the exact same formula as the previous polish, so it is a little bit on the thicker side, but this covers exceptionally well on the first coat and just goes on super smoothly. I personally feel like I do thin to average coats, but if you are someone who applies your nail polish with a little bit of a thicker coat than I do, I actually think you might be able to get away with just one coat. So here is one coat. And here is the second coat. This does cover completely in two coats. The only reason I did the second coat is because I feel like it makes the color a little bit more rich and it helps to cover any slight patchiness that I had with the first coat, again, only because my coats are slightly thinner. And I do think this one dries down just a half shade darker than it applies as well. So here is two coats of moss. The next polish is called Pond, and this is a lighter blue cream with just a couple of drops of gray in it. So here is one coat. This formula is actually a little bit thinner than the previous two, but it's still very good. It's directly in between a thin and a thicker cream formula, if that helps for comparison. It is a little bit more thin on the nail, so it is just a little bit more streaky than the previous two. But again, I apply my polish in slightly thinner coats, so as you can see, when I had just a little bit more polish on the brush for my middle finger, it definitely did cover better. I think I got just a tad too little on my brush initially. So here is one coat. Here is two coats. This does cover completely in two. Again, the formula is really great. It's just a little bit thinner than the previous two, but I'm still not having any issues with running or pooling or anything like that. This is another shade that I think dries down just a little bit darker than it applies on your nail, but that also kind of contributes to the dusty tone as well. So here is two coats of Pond. Next is Lilac, which is a light purple cream. So here is one coat. This is the same formula as the previous polish, so it is a little bit thinner than the initial two, but still a very good formula that applies very evenly and smoothly. Again, just a little bit streaky, so I will do a second coat. And it's also a little bit more sheer, as you can tell from my nail line. So here is one coat, and here's the second coat. So this does cover completely in two, which I'm very happy about. I was a little bit skeptical that I might need a third just because it's a little bit more thin, but that wasn't the case. These honestly just glide on like butter and are so easy to use. So here is two coats of lilac.
And last up is Berry, which is a bright but still slightly muted fuchsia cream. Just as a quick comparison, Lilac is on the left and Berry is on the right, so you can see that Lilac is definitely a lot lighter in color and it also doesn't have those bright tones that Berry does. So here is one coat. The formula is really good again, very smooth, very easy to apply. I feel like the consistency is kind of in between the first two and the previous two where it's thinner than the first two but a little bit thicker than the last two. The consistency of this one is actually my favorite and I feel like it might be the most universally favored. All beautiful formulas, I just think this one is kind of the Goldilocks. So here is one coat. And here's two coats. This one does cover perfectly in two coats. I do think it was a little bit patchy, a little tiny bit streaky on the first coat, but the second coat evens out everything really, really nicely. Again, this one does dry just slightly darker than it applies on your nail, but the color is beautiful. You can definitely tell that this one is brighter, but still has those muted tones to make it a little bit more wintry. So here is two coats of Berry. Personally, I really enjoyed this entire collection. I think it's perfect for this time of year, given that the colors are a little bit more muted than they typically would be for kind of spring collections and such. And I think that the colors are really universally flattering as well. I don't think that there's a color in here that would look bad on any given skin tone, which I can really appreciate. My favorite out of the bunch was definitely Pond. I think it's just a stunning shade of blue. And even though I don't typically love applying blue polish to myself, I felt that it looked really nice against my skin tone. So that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check the description box for all other information, and feel free to let me know in the comment section below what your favorite polish was or what you think of this collection. I'll talk to you next time. Bye guys.